All right, guys, we're moving through day two of the Borgata Million. Unfortunately, Michael Gagliano won't be with us yet in this event. He will be in the commentary booth come tomorrow's live streaming final table, but he's looking forward to the six max, and we're here with Gags to talk a little bit about BorgataPoker.com, some upcoming series, and his Twitch streams, and tomorrow's live streaming final table. Gags, how you doing today? Uh, good. I'm looking forward to playing today. I love the six max event, so it should be fun. Yeah, so you know you've had some uh, you know moderate success in the six max. You know it kind of always seems to run up with these final tables. So you know you don't always uh, you know know where you're gonna be come you know tomorrow afternoon. Hopefully still deep in the six max. But you know you've kind of been a mainstay on our live stream commentary uh, teams. You know you were one of the first people that were on the first stream that we ever did. And you know how do you really? you know work through that and how do you enjoy doing those live streams you know you're more of like an analytical player but you bring so much to the table more than just like poker talk depending on who i'm with in the booth we i feel like we kind of take on different roles uh i do tend to do more of the analytical side of like you know what's a good play should he do this should he do that but um i try to fill the different roles you know whatever people are kind of we're just having fun and we're not really talking a lot about the play we have fun and just kind of have fun with the viewers and people chatting with us um and if it's a really you know super focused final table with a lot of really crazy plays and strong plays. We talk about that a lot, so a little bit of everything. Um, but I love doing the final table streams. They're, they're a lot of fun and they bring in different people that I get to interact with that I don't always get to interact with in our, in our chats on the YouTube and on the Twitch. So um, yeah, they're a lot of fun. Yeah, no, and you know, speaking of a lot of fun, I've watched some of your Twitch streams, and you know, speaking of the non-analytical side of things, so a lot of times it's you know, I logged on once, and you're at like two final tables, and you're talking about you know, building you know a swing set for your daughter, and you know your you know, animals and music and things like that, and it's like, gags, you're you're playing like you know, you have a you have a 10k and a 5k final table up, and you know, there's like literally no poker talk going on, but the the fans are loving it, the fans are engaging, and you know, what is what how has Twitch kind of you know broadened you know your scope of uh, you know poker players in New Jersey and you know across the country that are following when I when I first started you know doing the regular streams I was like trying to be more of like kind of an entertainer and like oh here we go pocket Kings <laughs> you know but I quickly realized like that you know what that's just not me like yeah, that's yeah. not who I am I play you know thousands upon thousands of hands of poker online all the time and I'm just used to these situations these suck outs and I'm not gonna yell and scream when I lose and stuff like that I'm not one of those guys so I just realized like I'm just gonna have fun with this and I have a lot of viewers with a lot of you know same viewers over and over that love to chat and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. we just talk about stuff. If there's a big event in poker that happens, we talk about that. If there's a new schedule that comes out, we talk about that. If there's a new TV show that comes out and someone's like, hey, did you see the show? I'm like, yeah, we talk about that. You know, so it's just kind of whatever it is. And depending on the group that happens to be there that night watching and chatting, we talk about different things. And when I'm at a final table is when I tend to have the highest viewership. And that's when the biggest discussions come in the chat. So sometimes I'll be at that final table and we'll be nine handed and I'm like, you know what, I'm playing tight. Like these guys are having a good discussion. I want to jump in on that and, and really bring some things to light and point out and highlight what people said. And yeah. we, we have a lot of fun. Yeah, you got to give the fans what they want. Now, you know, you referenced, you know, speaking about new schedules in that chat. There's a new schedule coming out for VergataPoker.com. It's kind of already started to roll out with the Mega Tuesday. Kind of walk us through what we should expect over the next few months from VergataPoker.com. So the Mega Tuesday is weekly uh, high roller. It's on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. It's a 5:35, and it's gotten just great turnout. We honestly, you know, we weren't exactly sure how it was going to do, and it just it's it's blown away our expectations. It's been, mm -hmm. It got bigger the second week it ran, yeah. and hopefully we can continue growing that tournament. Uh, there is, you know, another schedule in the works. There's a GSSS series coming up. Um, I can't say too much about that, but people kind of have hinted that it's online. You know, it's yeah. coming. Um, but definitely look forward to that. There's going to be some really good tournaments and just more of what you like and are used to. Um, I have I have really high hopes. I'm, I'm really excited about this one. Awesome. Yeah, no, and, you know, past GSSS series have had, you know, everything from, you know, $10 tournaments to, you know, $1,000 high rollers. And, you know, so it should be a little bit of, you know, something for every, everyone, very all-inclusive. And, you know, we should look forward to seeing you make some good runs in that. I, I hope so. I hope to make some runs. But if there's not a tournament for you, there will be plenty of satellites that you can start for as little as, you know, maybe pennies or maybe maybe a dollar or something yeah, like that. Yeah, no, so and you know, satellites are kind of a really big push that BorgataPoker.com has been making. I think we've already seen, you know, in event one, 66 qualifiers from online. Yep. You know, what this one, this one too, you know, we, we I think we satellite in over two dozen players for this event. Yeah, so you know it was supposed to be three, it was like thirty five. Yeah, you know, so it, 
as you, you know, you've kind of been a part of New Jersey Online from the start, you know, almost three years ago now, how have you seen that online satellites have grown? You know, you, you've online, you've qualified online yourself, but there's also so many players who you would never see in live events like this. You know, how, how big is that for, you know, Borgata in general? Well, one of the things that this is like, I think, the third or maybe fourth time that we've really run the satellites to the opening events more, mm -hmm. to these 450s and 550s and 560s and stuff. And people are coming to expect, when there's a series, I can go online and play online now. Yeah. So that's been a big help, that just the consistency of stuff being there. Um, also the price points, you know, like there's a lot of guys who, that's the beauty of playing online is that you don't have to play for, you know, 500 or $1,000. You can play for 10 bucks or 20 bucks. Yeah. And there's people out there that just want to play for that. And they're looking at these, you know, $5 qualifiers to a $45 qualifier to a live event, and they're saying, I can win, I can do okay in two tournaments. Yeah. And they, you know, they throw a couple bucks on and they do well, and they're, they're here and they're playing an event that they never would have gotten to play in. So it's, it's, it's really cool. But um, yeah, hopefully we can keep expanding that and, and just keep, you know, bringing people here online and bringing people online here. I think that's the. You yeah, know, that's, that's the goal. All right, so as we continue to bring in online qualifiers, we're going to not keep gags from the 1K6 Max that is about to start in just a few minutes' time. So good luck today, and uh, hopefully see you deep in the 6 Max, cash in, and then maybe in the booth tomorrow. All right, thanks, man.